Hey, Squid, what are you hanging around for? Oh, I, I was just hanging around. Yeah, well, Mac told you to bring him over, not take the day off. Oh, well, look, I, I was just leaving. Well, I guess I better roll my hook. Oh, come on, kid, don't be a chump. Yeah, but you said that... Oh, I know, I know, I lost my head, but uh, Squid can move in there and you can bunk here. Say, I smooshed Mac into giving you a swell job. Oh, that's what I always wanted, to work with you and Mac. Well, you got your wish. <laughs> of course, I don't expect to do your kind of flying right off the bat. Hey, wait a minute, you're gonna fly a drafting board. A what? Yeah, you're starting in the designing room. Mac's giving you a swell chance. Yeah, as the draftsman, huh? Oh, I know how you feel, kid. You're just itching to get up there and fly by the seat of your pants and get in the headlines. Yeah, maybe I am. Yeah, well, I've had all that. When the glory's gone, all you've got left is nerves and hangover and no future. But the first toy I ever had was a model plane you made for me. I learned to read from a clipping book telling me about the stunts that you and the big six pulled. I used to tell the kids at school that I'd fly with you and Mac and Johnny Coles and Whispering Bill Thompson and... You come over here. There's Whispering Bill, one of the greatest flyers I ever knew. So what? Washed out in a tailspin. There's Ace Broxton, number two to go. If he'd have been just six inches higher, he would have missed those telegraph wires. And there's Red Carrington, stacked into the side of a mountain, carrying serum for a publicity stunt. He was number three of the big six. But they were pioneers. Ships are better now. Sure, they helped pave the way, and so did I. And the only way I can get out is to take the way they did. A guy's got to take chances. But a man doesn't have to fly. He can take the lessons those fellas taught to build ships, safer ships, so we won't have any more Red Carringtons or Whispering Bills. Okay, Brad. Out with you. That's the boy. You know, Doug, I promised Mom I'd look after you. I wouldn't be keeping my promise very well if I let you be the fourth helmet up on that wall. Come on, let's get unpacked.